Hi, I'm Nikos Mantis. Welcome back to Kitchen Conundrums. Today we're talking about using dry rubs, uh, and I'm going to show you a little dry rub recipe, and we're going to be using it on ribs. Dry rubs can be used on roasts, um, fresh meats, uh, but ideally, meats that you're going to be roasting for a period of time, they apply themselves very, very nicely to ribs uh, or pork. Uh, if you're making a pulled pork, a dry rub on a pulled pork is fantastic as well. I'm going to throw you, show you a quick little demonstration of putting together a dry rub. I've assembled a, a number of ingredients here. Uh, the ingredients are really a personal preference, what kind of flavors you want to have. Uh, I'll show you kind of what I use as a general guideline for my rib rub. So first I start with black pepper. This is ground black pepper. I use two parts black pepper. Next, I've got cinnamon. Cinnamon is a really nice accompaniment for pork. Nutmeg, a little bit of a stronger flavor, also complements pork very well. We're going to use a little bit less of this, so we're going to use one part nutmeg. Paprika lends both color and flavor. I'm going to use two parts paprika. It's going to give a nice bright color to our ribs. The next two ingredients are cumin and coriander. These are more of an eastern flavor. I like to add these for a little bit of diversity in flavor in my ribs. Two parts each. Mustard powder. This is going to add a little bit of bite. One part mustard powder. Ground ginger. Again, keeping a little bit with that eastern flair with the cumin and coriander. One part ginger. Also going to lend some bite to the ribs. Chili powder for spice one part chili powder. So I've got all my ingredients here together in a bowl. I'm just going to mix these so they blend really, really well. You can do it with a spoon or by hand. A whisk also works well. If you notice any clumps, just break those up. So from here, now I've got my rib rub. I've got some shortcut side ribs here. Um, a, rib, a, a rib rub or a rub is exactly what it, what it says. You want to apply the, the spice to the meat and you want to rub it in. You want to really kind of ingrain that uh, flavor right into the meat. So what I'm doing is I'm just dusting the meat with my rub and then with my hand I'm pushing that those spices right into the meat. We want to do that on both sides. Turn the ribs over. Again, liberal coating of my rub. Seasoning mixture. We'll rub that right into the meat. And as you can see, there's lots of spice all over the ribs on both sides. From there, we're going to put this in a roasting pan, cover it in foil, and we want to put these in an oven at about 325 degrees for about three hours. When they're finished, they'll be nice and tender. You could eat them at that point, or you could cool them, baste them with barbecue sauce, and throw them on the grill. That's how you make a nice rib rub, a uh, quick way to cook some ribs. My name is Nikos Mantis. Thank you for watching Kitchen Conundrums.